What's up guys? Today we're taking a look at a brand new all-in-one water cooling system from Cooler Master. It's their Sadon 240M and as you can guess the 240M means it's a 240 millimeter radiator so you have dual fans on there. So let's just go ahead and check it out. The Sadon comes in a very nice retail box, large picture of the product on the front. It does list some of the main features, which it's maintenance free, efficient design for overclocking, and ultra fine micro channel. On the opposite side here, it lists some of the main features and actually has a full layout diagram of the actual unit itself. And the two things you really want to look at here is how long it actually is. It is 240 millimeters from the fan connector. So that's what one thing you want to look at, but it actually is 273 millimeters long. So you want to make sure this is going to fit inside your case. So that's the length that you need up top. Um, and of course the fan connectors are at, you know, the 240 millimeter length, um, as most 240 millimeter radiators are. So you have those fan connections right up top. Um, let's just go ahead and open this up though. Should be pretty simple here. Open it up, and as you can see, everything is nicely laid out inside. Everything, you know, um, nicely packaged. Start taking stuff out. We have all of our mounting accessories, and this is a universal cooler, so everything when it comes to AMD and Intel, it is going to fit. So you have all of your mounting hardware in here, as well as you can see here. If I can show you, you do have thermal compound in there as well. Um, everything to mount it is in this bag and you have actually two more extra screws or two more bags of the longer screws to mount the radiator here. You have these two longer screws. And what else we have in here? Uh, we have a bag of bolts, which of course is to mount. This looks like for socket 2011, I believe. And we have our two cooling fans right here. So we have two of these Cooler Master cooling fans. Let's take a look at these right there and then we have the unit itself and we'll get it all out here so you guys can actually see the whole thing now taking a look at the unit itself it is pretty thin for a 240 millimeter radiator if we actually take a close look here at the radiator it is pretty thin um, of course that doesn't always mean it's going to be a bad cooling experience just in my experience this is pretty thin for a 240 millimeter radiator up here of course you have your fan connectors on the top, you know, the little holes right here where you will mount this to your fans. And then of course you have the same thing on the other side where you're going to mount it to the top of your case or the front or the back, depending on which case you have. You do have your tubes here and these are also very thin. Um, they bend pretty well as you can see, I'm bending them just like that. Um, they bend pretty well, but they are pretty thin. And then you, of course you have your block as well as your pump here and I'll get this out of the way so you guys can actually see. There is no thermal compound actually on the block, which I do like. Um, I don't like when it's pre-applied. You can look at the block here, very thick copper on there. And then you have the pump on top. But again, compared to a lot of other units, this is pretty small as far as the pump goes and the block. Um, so again, we'll have to see how well it actually cools. But uh, you know, um, just for an example, this is how it would go in your case. You'd have it sitting here and of course this would mount right to your um, CPU, just like that. Or if you had it in the front or the back, however you would mount it, um, it would work pretty well. And of course you do have your connection here for the pump, which would plug right into your normal CPU fan header. Um, I would believe so. But that's basically, you can look at the front here of the, um, of the pump in the block. It does say Cooler Master there. It does look pretty cool. Um, it's, again, it's an all-in-one system, so there's no maintenance on this. So you don't have to add coolant. You don't have to do anything. It's just like a normal CPU cooler. You just attach it and you're pretty much good to go. Um, nice all-in-one system here from Cooler Master. So this basically wraps up our unboxing and overview video of the Cooler Master Sadon 240M. Check back very soon on thinkcomputers.org as we'll have the full written review. And remember guys, if you like our unboxing videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.